Hello again, Rob Veach from V Paranormal. I've been doing some uh, research um, into EVPs, and if you do a search on a, a famous uh, scientist who actually was a uh, parapsychologist, his name was Dr. Konstantin Radiv, and um, uh, he, from 1965 to 1975, did thousands upon thousands of EVPs um, using three primary techniques. One technique was recording using a uh, tape recorder, just leaving it going and trying to hear any uh, voices on the recording. Another technique was he would use an AM uh, receiver and tune it to a, a, a non-station and uh, listen to uh, voices and record that. And the third one I was most interested in, he used uh, diode voices using a germanium diode. And that's the one I concentrated on. And after doing some research, um, he uh, used a circuit uh, that was uh, talked about in one of his books. And I concentrated on that original circuit, which I'll show you here. Um, the issue I had with that original circuit is that it was tuned right in the middle of the AM band. The AM band in the United States goes from 530 kilohertz to 1750 kilohertz. So his was tuned right in the middle of that band. So uh, he got a lot of radio stations, I would imagine, coming in. And when I uh, experimented with that circuit, I did also, even with a small antenna on the input. So what I did is I modified the circuit after doing some research and uh, changed the components of the choke or the coil in there. I increased the coil uh, value so that the uh, resonating point of my circuit is 450 kilohertz. So my circuit actually will start picking up signal at about 350 kilohertz and then drop off at 550 kilohertz. So it's um, it's to the left of the AM band, it just slightly overlaps the low end of the AM band. So here's the uh, prototype of the uh, USB tuned Radiv Entity Microphone. As you can see, it's the USB microphone. It's a Samsung C01U USB Studio Condenser Microphone. And I'm going to show you some pictures of the uh, schematic and what, is what I put internally inside this microphone. At the end of the video, we'll have the whole schematic. You can look at uh, what was done here. Um, I'll be using this along with another USB microphone, a stereo microphone, a separate track for that, and this would be its own track. That way you have three tracks going, live audio and stereo, and one track of the Constantine or the Radiv microphone going on at the same time. Another thing that's interesting about the design, um, if you do get radio stations, you could take this antenna, which is very short, three inches, and you could tuck it into this little opening I made. There's a tube inside here. So as you drop the antenna into there, what happens is it reduces the effective amplification ability of the internal circuit. And that eliminates your station coming in so that you're, you're guaranteed to get white noise. And again, it's only strong stations that could possibly come in that might be local. Most of the time you're not going to get any stations because it's tuned on the low end of the AM band.